In this video, we'll show you how to kick off a DBT Cloud Run after verifying a data load in Microsoft SQL Server. Let's dive in. We're going to jump straight into Shipyard here and search for Microsoft SQL Server Blueprints. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click Execute Query. Uh, so I'm going to click that. It's going to pop up an authorization guide if this is your first time using the Blueprint inside of Shipyard. I'm going to close that for right now. Uh, vessel name, I'm just going to name it Execute Query here. Um, and all we're going to need is just our inputs here for SQL Server. So my host, my username, let me grab my password, uh, the database I want to run off of, which is our test DB, uh, and then the query. Um, so I'm just going to do a select star here from a table. Um, obviously, if you're trying to test uh, some, some, da some data validity, uh, you'll probably want a more complex query. I'm just showing functionality here. Uh, so this should work for any query that you want to run inside of SQL Server. Um, so that's our first vessel. Um, so now we want to go to our DBT vessels. So I'm going to go to execute job. Um, so execute DBT cloud job. Uh, so we just need our service token as well as the account ID and job ID. Um, and that's going to be enough for us to kick off a job inside of DBT. So I can connect those together. Um, so what this is saying here is it's going to execute that SQL query. Um, if that query comes back as a success, uh, and no errors, it's going to then kick off our dbt cloud job. Um, so the last thing we want to do before we kick this thing off and run it is we want to name our fleet. So we're going to name our fleet Microsoft SQL Server. And then dbt cloud, verify, then run. There we go. So now we can click save and finish. Uh, this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully. Uh, so I can click run your fleet. This is going to uh, successfully schedule it to run immediately. Uh, so we call this an on-demand run inside of Shipyard. There's also two other ways to kick off a fleet inside of Shipyard using our triggers. So we can we have a scheduling trigger where you can schedule based on time. And we also have an API trigger where you can program programmatically kick off a fleet um, from any other software as well. Uh, so you can see we're inside of our fleet log where we can, uh, we can monitor the live fleet run as it's happening. Uh, you can see that our execute query uh, vessel just finished. I can click inside of that and it's going to show the uh, the inputs that we had here as well as uh, it, it tells us that the query has been successfully executed. Uh, so now that that's been executed, it can kick off the dbt cloud job, um, which it will in just a moment. And one more thing to show you before we look at the dbt cloud job, you can see that uh, any password field that you fill in uh, to Shipyard, uh, whenever you're, whenever you're trying to run something, it's gonna be it's gonna come out in the in the log here as uh, as blocks, so that any user can't just go to your logs and look at uh, your passwords as you put them in. Um, you can see that the DBT cloud is already finished while we're talking about the password there. Uh, so if I click into that, you can see that uh, the job two four nine nine zero on the account nineteen eight twelve has been kicked off and has started. Uh, so in this video, we talked about how you can verify data inside of SQL Server and then kick off a DBT job if it's successful. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.